Hello my Soccer Universe and let's start some performance reviews since we're kind of at the halfway point of the season for most of the leagues and you know Christmas break is around for most of the leagues not the league we'll talk about today I thought it is probably a good time to kind of see how have the seasons been going for uh, all these teams uh, and I've actually looked mostly at what were my preseason expectations how many points would they get and then how did this change over the course of, 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 of the season? So we'll see some graphs. If they move up, this kind of means that um, there was a good result, most likely a win. A draw usually gives you sideways, a little bit down. And then if there's a big loss uh, going down. So uh, I think it's a pretty cool measure. Also a way to kind of relieve the first half of the season a little bit uh, in certain cases. Now... I have actually sorted the teams back back there by their overall per performance and I'm varying Crystal Palace, which is the team that had overall the biggest um, change, positive, positive change in terms of expected points. So they uh, have at the moment, we expect them to get a lot more points than we had at the beginning of the, of, of the season. So they are overall the top performers, but we also see West Ham, of course, Liverpool, Wolves, a little bit surprising and yeah, we see uh, City. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run through uh, through a few interesting teams to discuss, mostly the top uh, four, five, and, and and so on, and some that uh, where I think that uh, um, it is warranted. And at the end, I give you the graphs for all the teams, so you can pick out your personal favorite there as well. And yeah, uh, have fun with it. Before we go into it as well, I, in case you're sad, I wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and otherwise Happy Holidays since, since and these reviews will not post over the Christmas break. I just wanted to make sure that I wish you that as well and lots of help. In any case, so I will say we'll start at the champions, which is of course Manchester City. And here you see already the two graphs that are made. We have on the left, you have the development and expected points, which I think is a bit better of a performance measure of how it uh, went. We see already a few ups and downs with Manchester City. but And on two to the right, we see the rating in, and this is kind of a relative rating uh, in relation to the rest of the league, where um, we also see Man Manchester City in both graphs always high up. What are the white squiggly lines? These are all the other teams but not identified. I just identified the one team that we are talking about. So you see kind of where the team that, uh, that we're talking about is in relation to the other teams, uh, which kind of is very interesting uh, comparison. We can see, for instance, uh, let's stick with the ratings to the right, that Manchester City very, very consistently has been staying on top. There's not much movement upward or downward. There's one slight downward moving mo movement that happened uh, right at the end of October, beginning of November. Crystal Palace. That's the loss to Crystal Palace. It actually reset Manchester City a little bit downward. Uh, but other, other than that, it's rather stable what Manchester City has, has done uh, in terms of ratings. However, we also see, uh, since they are favored all over and... Um, on the bottom we see that it goes by month so to the very left the first dot is kind of the preseason and then it goes on around one two uh, whenever i computed stuff and we see the preseason manchester city were heavily heavily favored but now there's one team catching up already i'll let you take a guess we'll uh, talk about the team a little a little bit later as well and we can clearly see that there are uh three to four teams at the beginning it was four teams now it's three three teams that are kind of up top the rest is kind of really much in the, in, the, in the middle and then the other lines we see on the bottom there are a few teams uh that might fight for relegation but overall we saw everything about management we see it also this drop this big drop at the beginning of november this is the uh, crystal palace loss this was a huge loss for for them up until then you kind of you saw them gaining a little bit steam and now you see it really that after this loss suddenly Manchester City start winning and we see them drifting slowly, slowly, slowly upwards now. However, uh, there's not yet too much distance that we had from from before, so it's not decisive yet. Um, if we look at the City rivals, we already, already see that uh, Manchester United is, of course, the one team that we thought could maybe challenge for a top four spot and at the moment is, is still top four, but in a tug of war in many ways. And you can also, also see, you know, where Cristiano arrived as the, at the first a little bit up down, then Cristiano arrives. 
it goes 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 well and then they are really came the down downturn up until after the international break you know those longer lines in between that was the international break um if we look at liverpool that is the one team that get inching inching closer to city although we see already their last three results uh, last two or three results kind of goes a little bit downward goes a little bit downward but uh overall uh liverpool had a, a little period in there where it went uh not so well but overall liverpool is much better than they were at the beginning of the season um similarly to chelsea however chelsea you know is is kind of there but now at the end and we saw it already the results undergoing they're a little bit break breaking away so starting december suddenly there was something not going right for Chelsea and you can very much see this graph that up until that point they were kind of steadily growing 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 and then suddenly there's a little drop and you see in this case more at the ratings so those are the top top four I want to pick out a few interesting ones as well like West Ham uh, where we knew at the um, uh, beginning of the season kind of more midfield and they had the really uh, strong rise october november december suddenly west ham found themselves up there in a fight for a fourth spot and then yeah kind of drifting with in in injuries kind of drifting and maybe even trending now again a little bit downwards but in terms of expected points they are a whole step above than where they were at the beginning of the season uh the north land teams as well the fellow other land teams are also interesting we had the, you see the great start for spurs and then it all came crashing down there was a little bump and then it came all crashing down as soon as Antonio Conte come in, you, we see a slight upward trend, but Spurs kind of more or less now where they were at the beginning of the season. At least the expected points for rating are a little bit lower. Arsenal, a uh, very similar ending, maybe a little bit more abrupt, abrupt even. Uh, you can definitely see the upward turn, uh, but you also see the bad start to, to, to the season where the first they were all lost, it goes down. But then Arsenal is really picking up uh, steam at the moment. It's reflected in here, so um, I, it's really nice to see that. Uh, another one that I really want to uh, is Aston Villa because uh, there you can see also the um, effect of Steven Gerrard come, coming in. Aston Villa started out relatively stable, had even a pretty good uh, at the beginning of October, pretty, pretty, pretty good standing, and then it all started developing downhill, 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 downhill until. In November, the coaching change was made, and ever since Villa is rise, rising again is almost there at the peak that they had uh, at the beginning of October. So I find this a very, very um, curious uh, development. Uh, the newly rich team Newcastle is just one big downward turn. There is not much that is happening. Um, another team is, of course, we, I want to quickly show you Crystal Palace since they're the biggest moves. You really see their move moving up, but at the moment it's kind of petering out. There was really the big uh, surge came through that win over City. And then in the upcoming conviction since then they're holding steady. So they had one big boost um, after the first inter international break, then after the second one with the win over City. And since then it's kind of relatively steady. Uh, I think I will end it here uh, and leave you with all the other graphs. You see now already how, uh, how one can interpret this. Uh, I would love to know what you think about this, whether this is helpful to you. Uh, I'm planning to maybe publish this, uh, yeah, let's say at the three quarter mark or something like that again, so we can see where things are trending. In any case, uh, enjoy now the graphs. You have about 10 seconds for every team with some music under. Uh, you can stop, you can pause. Uh, that's what uh, maybe it's even a good idea to take the schedule for each team and you know see where coaching changes were made because it will really tell you a little bit more what's in there so yeah i will see you on the other side of the little montage
well. I hope you really enjoyed uh, this one again. Drop a line below uh, to give me some uh, feedback. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell. So in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.